Greetings, everybody. This is Karen Vaughn. I have a very special guest today. You've seen many of his shows on BET and BET Plus. I would like to welcome to our, I like to call it living room, <laughs> Trey Haley. He is a director, a producer, and motivational speaker hailing from Arlington, Texas, but right now resides in Los Angeles. Welcome. 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 Thank you for having me. No problem. No problem. Well, The Family Business Season 2 on BET Plus right now. Yes. As well as the legal thriller Influencer mm -hmm. with Deborah Cox and Anthony Hamilton on BET Plus as well. And uh, a movie everybody was talking about last year, Always a Bridesmaid. Um, I'm yeah. sure you can stream that on, on BET now as well. So you're a busy guy. Busy guy. Busy guy. You know, a lot of things happening, but I'm feeling really good. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So tell us about uh, the family business too. You're in season two right now. Mm -hmm. uh, just dropped last week during the holidays. I was telling Sabrina earlier that I have to binge watch this. Um, I've been looking for something to binge watch. So I finally have it. Tell us about the show. Yeah. Uh, this season is, I don't know if you saw the first season. If you haven't saw the first season, I've seen the first season. Mm -hmm. This is an extension of a family, the Duncans, who run a very prominent family out of New York. They have an exotic car dealership during the day that is one of the most prominent car dealerships during the day. But at night, they also have another world, an underworld in which they play in. And they play in all worlds, from the politics to the uh, underground world to uh, anything you can think of. But the ultimate thing is about their family and taking control of letting nothing stop their goals and to whatever they want to achieve in life. And, um, but they always make sure everything stays within the family. So this is based on a book by Carl Weber, not a New York times bestselling book. And, you know, a lot of times you've seen the Godfather stories or you see certain storylines that are a lot of times very, uh, they're, they're, they're very grand in their presentation. But, but they're very powerful in their storytelling. And it has a lot of twists and turns. Um, you definitely, I don't know if you know the Carl Weber storylines, but if you, the moment you think you know where it's gonna go, just keep turning three, it, it goes three times the other way. So uh, it's definitely a binge worthy type storyline. And it has a lot of amazing characters in it and a lot of actors that you've seen, like such as Ernie Hudson is the father and, um, plays a very powerful father figure, um, um, a very, and then his wife is Valerie Pettiford, who is the mother and the mom is not a game. She will do anything to make sure her family is not messed with. And all her her kids and her, her, her daughters, her sons, the family is number one. So, um, and they'll, and, and, and they protect it with all cost. Mm -hmm. So it's a great time, it's a great show. And, and it has some actually great, uh, things to walk away from just as, you know, to instill in your family in general. But yet at the same, same time, it's, a, it's totally a fun show to watch, just entertaining, get, get away from some things for, you know, relax and have a good time. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get away from a lot of things. It seems yeah. like we're always pivoting to whatever the new normal is. I say yeah. there's no new normal. We're just transitioning to whatever the pivot is, pivot is of the day. Yeah. Um, that goes in line with Carl's books because you think yeah. you're going one way and then whoop, you're going the other way. Absolutely. So the Duncans are well connected, it sounds like. The Duncans are well connected. We have everybody from all the politicians, mm -hmm. the mafias to the cartels to whoever. Mm -hmm. If you want something to happen, mm -hmm. so the Duncans have the ability to make it happen. Mm -hmm. But they also, the family that you also don't want to cross either. They're very nice people. But yeah. <laughs> they protect their family with all cost. <laughs> yeah. And let's talk about being well connected and building relationships because yeah. it's just so uh important. And you know, one of your breaks was working with with Morgan Freeman. So yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. of all people to have a break with um Morgan Freeman, that that's that's amazing, Trey. That's amazing. Can you tell us how that came to be and how you guys connected? Yeah, um, Honestly, uh, as I was pursuing this business coming out from Arlington, Texas, as you said, I, I really didn't know anybody in the industry I mean, I'm legitimately. And then I came out here, you know, several years later, finding out all these people I knew from Texas. I didn't even know they were out here. But 
along my path, I submitted for an internship at Revelations Entertainment, which is Morgan Freeman's company. And I got accepted and it was a six month intensive internship. And it's not just getting coffee and making print and paper. It was literally reading scripts. Um, we we were involved in all a lot of in all of the pieces, and I got a chance to see the inside of the inner workings of a co production company. Which I would say some of these elements I learned there are what I do with our company now. You know myself and my partners. So, um, but they they gave us an intensive look in every aspect from development to post production. We got a chance to, I guess, in return for that internship, they. The different departments in that company they showed us yeah in you know live with real situations how to navigate the industry in a lot of different ways so it was a really powerful internship yeah what would you say to those up and coming producers directors writers actors that want to break into the business and want to become well connected to do great work mm -hmm. um what what are their first steps what what should they be looking to do yeah, you know what the first, you know, I will say this as as I tell people all the time. There's no one way to make mm -hmm. it into the business. First right. of all, so the moment someone tells you this is the way to do it, I can promise you, you're gonna find about three or four other people that tell you the opposite way. You know, so the best thing I would tell you the first is to do the inner work, to stay strong, believe in the faith that you have, believe in yourself. Yeah, that self belief is gonna be extremely important along this journey because. Some things may happen very quickly. Some things may take a twist and a turn and you just don't, like I said, you have to be able to have a, a like a, 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 I guess you would call be very resilient and um, just relentless <laughs> in your faith. Um, but also know that don't put yourself on an island by yourself. Don't be out here in the business saying, I can do it all by myself because you really have to have relationships to help you extensions so it's building yourself up showcasing what you can do if you say you're a writer write if you say you can direct it go direct something it doesn't have to be a feature it can be a short film if you're an actor go get involved in projects student projects build your reel shoot something for yourself write something for yourself to showcase yourself the way you would like to be seen but when somebody asks you what is it that you want to do you should be able to showcase them they're not going to necessarily ask you what college you went to they're going to say let me see your work. That's what they're going to say. <laughs> yes. Let me see the work and let's get to work. Right. Yes. So you have your, your own studio. Try Destin Studios. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Coming from Texas. Yeah. Working with Morgan Freeman, developing your craft. And now you have your own studio. That is just so amazing because, you know, we hear of people having studios, just, you know, a few people here and there. Um, mm -hmm. But you are a black owned business in Hollywood creating right. um, content. And you have, you know, two shows right now on BET Plus. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we are definitely very, you know, very, very blessed. We, You know, but it is it's taking it step by step, day mm -hmm. at a, one day at a time planning the vision from the very mm -hmm. beginning, no matter how, where you, no matter what the humble beginnings you start, have that end vision in mind and we just stay consistent, do good work, do good business with people. Yeah. And um, yeah. it just worked out, you know, you stay, you just stay consistent, like I said, and mm -hmm. it's, it's really been great. Uh, like you said, we have the two show, we have well, family business influence, which is we're working on turning into a TV show. That's our goal with that as well. It's a, it's a feature right now. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, Always a Bridesmaid, which premiered on Always um, on BET. And it is actually on Netflix as well. You can watch it on Netflix too. So, you know, we just keep going. We usually do at least three projects a year, three. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. We have a Christmas film that we're about to, you know, once we get back, we also want to shoot this, if we can get it done this year. Right. <laughs> um, um, but we have a you know a couple of things being lined up. So as once you see one thing, just know, Tridestin has two or three things in the mm -hmm. in the uh, works. In the works, yeah. So you know, with uh, COVID and social distancing, it's really put you know a damper on many industries, including the entertainment industry. So yeah. have you thought through? as this continues, cause you know, went from a couple of weeks to a couple of months and everyone is saying, and I, I include 2020 is canceled. 
Yes. Right. We just got to find a new way of maneuvering. Have you thought of um, any projects that you can do currently right now in the state that we're in? Yeah. Um, well, you know what we what we've been doing or how to shoot them and or still continue the entertainment factor because so many people need it. You know, we're yeah. at home. You know, people are stressed, high anxiety. Entertainment is needed, but it's from our living rooms now. It is. We are, um, when we were shooting Family Business, actually what you will be seeing is six episodes. So that was the first six episodes. We were shooting while this, when this happened. So we were able to get through six. That's why you're seeing these first six. And then when we come back, we are working on some things with some of the, with, with SAG and, you know, the Lope, the city to bring back, to put, get us back into production. We've talked to all of our actors mm -hmm. and we have a way, you know, we're looking at it like the NBA and everybody's looking at how do we right. create a bubble with our actors and our crew so that we can still shoot this in a way and still get out the other six. Um, so we actually are working on some things and working with, you know, mm -hmm. creating a situation so that we can finish, hopefully, you know, start back shooting in August, September. But like, you know, it all depends on the, uh, you know, we can, you know, the size of our crew and all kind of things, you know, but um, maybe we have to sequester some people, you know, and make it, make it really, really work. So, yeah. um, but we, you know, in the meantime, I've been doing, Hey, you know what? I'm not usually a in front of the camera guy, but I've been doing this new thing on our line on online called live showbiz. It's like, it's called showbiz at home with Trey yeah. Haley. <laughs> I saw I, on your IG page and tonight, I, Les Brown. Yes, I don't know. Oh my goodness. But yeah, <laughs> The day we have Les Brown, oh my gosh, that's this is going to be incredible. Yeah. So, you know, um, it's you're finding different unique ways to create content and do things and stay proactive and be positive, do positive things, put it out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love the show Biz at Home, and Les Brown is just an amazing speaker, yeah. uh, an amazing motivator. He yeah. came to visit us when I was doing radio in Cleveland and then here in Indianapolis. And you always feel like a fly on the wall um, yeah. when you talk to Les because he pours so much into you. And I think that's so important that he actually takes the time, you yeah. know, before his engagements or after his engagements, or if you're just sitting backstage with him, he's going to pour something into you. And I can appreciate that. And that, you know, makes you want to pay it forward and yep. to give back and to pour into others. And I know you're a motivational speaker as well. And with everything that's going on in the world right now, what would you say to uplift somebody that's feeling a little down? Maybe they, you know, life isn't what it used to be, you know, maybe they don't, they don't have, they're, they're looking for new work or, you no. know, the job just isn't working out or working from home is driving them stir crazy. You know, what would you say to someone to uplift them at this time? Well, you know what they say, you know, nothing lasts forever, number one. So don't make a short term decision that's going to last a lifetime. I mean, a long, a, you know what I'm saying? Like I know what you're talking about. A decision today that would that six months from now, this will, you know, things, will, things are going to change and things are always changing. You know, mm -hmm. so that's just the world we're in. But I would say for sure, it, it a, I would say go with the flow of time. Maybe this is the time to flow with change. Look mm -hmm. for the thing that's going to open you up so that when you come out of this, that there is something new that you can add to your life and bring a new value. Things Sometimes there's so much stuff happening, moving, moving, moving. We never sometimes get the chance to really get the dream out. You know, this mm -hmm. time to get that one thing that's stuck deep in your heart that you know in the back, no more, a lot of people don't know about. <laughs> Let me study on that thing. There's a lot of online classes that you can take. There's a lot of things you can watch online that you can learn from and, and just add value to your life. Mm -hmm. um, um, and, and I would say, like I said, tough times don't last for long. Right. And, and, and just to stick with that and, and, find the place of hope for you. The thing that makes you want to win, find those things that make you want to win. What read that new Les Brown book that he talks about. You got to be hungry, you know, <laughs> find the hunger in you. Yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. Has there been one thing that you've done during all this just to just 
-hmm. learn something new or step away from from your norm. For me, my friends and I, we started jumping on the stock market and say, okay, now we we can't afford a whole lot of shares, but let's start and learn something new. So that's that's something that my friends and I have been doing. Great one to do because, you know, now you can actually sit there, learn it, watch it. This is a great place. Things are down. You can learn how to go and rise with the market. Um, For me, I love reading books. See, you have a lot of books back there behind you. Um, (laughs) It's hard to read a lot of books when you're in production all the time. So I've been able to catch up on some things like that. Um, Mm -hmm. A lot of catch up on a lot of scripts that I can have a chance to read uh, and really sit down and reassess the next level of where Tridestin is going. You know, for me, so it's always just leveling up, doing better than where we are today. So yeah. sometimes it's good to just be able to sit down and reset. I just how I look at it. It's just like a reset, staying safe, staying inside. And mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, is that a picture of Nelson Mandela behind you? That is okay. right. That is a Nell picture. And it's a good friend of mine. She, uh, she makes a lot of the art on our set, JT mm-hmm. art, and mm-hmm. she is incredible. But that one, yes, that Nelson Mandela is definitely someone is one of my, uh, someone that I look up to a lot. Yeah, one of my favorite quotes, and I have it uh, hanging on the wall over here is, it's always, it always seems impossible until it's done. Right. Yeah, it, and looking at that every day, it's like, oh, yes, it's impossible. So never doubt yourself. You can be yeah, yeah. so that's one of my favorite go-to um yeah, his, his, that that spirit that he has of what you're saying is one of the mm-hmm. reasons why I like him so much. When you look at a person like him and what he went through t- 27 years in prison, and then you can still come out and be a winner, there's a mindset that you have to have. Mm-hmm. There's a mindset to that. Yes, there is. And the, the way he came out still full of joy and not hate and the way he just totally basically took himself up higher, even in that small space. That's a great example of what we are today. We're all locked up right now. Yeah. Whether you're in a prison or in your house or wherever, but he was able to take that and win from it, you know? So mm-hmm. yeah, that, 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 there's a lot of powerful elements out of that man that is really, really, uh, motivational, yeah. Yeah, he has an amazing legacy. And when we think of you, Trey, and Try Destined Studios and all the great work that you're doing, what do you want your legacy to be? You know what? We, as a company, one of our, our goals for our company is called, it's the, the motto we say is destined, or it's destined to change the perception of the world. That's our, mm-hmm. like our motto. And the reason why we say that my business partner, um, Nakaya, um, D. Brown Jones, she from Cleveland, Ohio, by the way. Uh, <laughs> she, uh, <laughs> we, when we started our company, we wanted to create a place where everyone could feel heard and people could be able to do things that they may not normally be able to, you know, often are being pigeonholed or the stories aren't being told the way they want. We want to be a place, a safe haven, and change the perception of how people see things with images. And sometimes we want to flip things on their head. Even the family business is a flipping on their head. Usually you see this in a different color. We want to show powerful, we just want to show us winning all the time. <laughs> right. When you watch yeah. a Tridestin movie, you say, no matter what happens, people win, always a bridesmaid. You may be going through something, she was trying to figure it all out, but she's going to win. You know, she's going to win. Um, <laughs> um, influence. You see a powerful African-American com- family that's an attorney, a group of attorneys. Mm-hmm. Uh, flipping the images on their heads. So, and then you see us and still in the real world among uh, everyone. But putting some hope, making us look good, making everyone look in, in the, the, the images of yesterday, turning them on the top of their head and making sure that it's seen the, in a very broad point of view. Yes. Mm-hmm. What is your dream project? Oh man, that's t- that. And I, you know, I always said that I would love to do something though, ironically, in South Africa, um, with a blend of Americans and and, and Africans, South Africa, in, in South Africa, like Americans going to Africa mm-hmm. and having a. It's more of like an adventure film. They think they're going for one thing but they come out and their life is transformed based on this experience of what they thought something was versus what it actually is. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I would love for us to see each other together. 
and see not only our differences, but our likenesses and both learn from each other from, from two different worlds, you know? Yeah. And, but yeah. make it like a big adventure Hollywood movie, you know, the, the, the waterfalls and us like, wow, like the, it's almost like I had no clue, you right. know? That, right. The Africa that we're sometimes shown is such so different than what we see when we get there. Yeah. 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 So, you know, as we wrap up, tell us about a few of the projects that you are working on. You said that you had a Christmas um, project that you're working on. Can you tell us anything about that and who's starring now, in it? We haven't um, casted it yet, but we actually have the script. It's, it's uh, tentatively called Christmas Deja Vu. It's going to be directed by an African-American female as well. And um, that one is going to be a really interesting. We did a movie called Throwback Holiday. So I think th it was like, why don't we go to the same people that did Throwback Holiday, Christmas Deja Vu? So okay. you know, it's a very fun tale. I mean, I give away the secret of that too much, but you know, think about Groundhog's Day, you know, something like that, and okay. in the Christmas world. Uh, we also have, you know, we also we have a partnership with Carl Weber, so we do a lot of Carl Weber's books as well. Mm -hmm. But so he has some other storylines that he has that he wants to tell. But you know, influence is the big one right now too. Right. M adjusting, turning that one, and then. You know, we, we have a historical film here and there that we also are thinking about doing as well. That's, you know, a few of our stories that we've heard of, but we've never really d dwelled deep into the storyline of how these things happen and to where we are today. Like, as far as like these historical events that happen, there's so many stories that have never been told that are empowering, like mm -hmm. really powerful, uplifting stories about Collect what happens when you collectively come together and how you make a change together. Right. So there's a story like there's a couple of stories that we're looking at as well in that way. Oh, that's good. That's good. We definitely need that and yeah. just keep the positive images of, of our yeah. people um, in the forefront. Yes. yes. Consistently. <laughs> <laughs> Daily. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, this has been great. I love talking to you. I can't wait um, to check out um, the family business too. I'm, I'm yes. telling you, that's I'm doing that tonight with a with a big bowl of popcorn. That's that, that's hey. my evening tonight. <laughs> great. Um, and I'll tell you this: if you're a Tretch fan from Naughty by Nature, he comes in yeah. this season and he is not a game. Don't sleep on this man. He comes with a force. And okay. the family, and let's just say the Duncan family, I have a, they have someone they have to deal with this, this okay. season. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Matter of fact, I love it. I can't wait to check it out. And definitely for those that are watching and listening now, check it out on BET Plus. It is the family business season two. Also uh, with Deborah Cox and Anthony Hamilton, uh, influencer on BET Plus. And you said always a bridesmaid. I've seen that on Netflix too. I'm, I'm definitely yep. going to check that out too. Yeah, you can check it on Netflix right now. Yeah. Yep. So. so how can one follow you? You know, again, you're a motivational speaker. You're doing great things in the industry. Where can we follow you on, on social media? Yeah. Okay. So my, um, our company website is tridestin.com. And mm -hmm. Um, Instagram is at Trey Destin. My mm -hmm. my personal Instagram is Trey Haley at Trey Haley T D S Trey Destin Studios. So okay. Trey Haley T D S, real easy to find on Instagram as well and Facebook, all of those things like that. So, okay. um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm easy. You just type it in somewhere. I'm sure I'll, I'll pop up somewhere, or the company as well. And make sure you look out for the showbiz online. And we try to do something each week with someone. Our mm -hmm. cast coming on as well on show, you know, to talk about the show as well. Do you have anyone lined up that you could tell us about that's coming you know, up? The the main thing right now, right after we do less is we're just setting it up each one, like uh, every other day or so, I'm going to start bringing in our cast for the family business. So oh, awesome. we're going to bring all of them on so they can talk about their characters and different things like that. And we have a couple of special guests that we're lining up. Just, we always throw in a couple of people we've had um, Laz Alonzo. We've had Deborah Cox on um, Tammy Roman. Yvette Nicole Brown, a lot of people that we work with have they come on that. Um, you know, it's it's been uh, it's been a great platform. Christian Keys and I mean the names go on Lamont Rucker. They've all been on, but we yeah. got some more coming. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, we'll definitely look out for that showbiz at home.
yes. with Trey yes. Haley. And uh, all the best to you. Continued success. And whenever you want to, you know, chit chat mm -hmm. about motivation, uplifting our people, as well as any projects that you have going on um, mm -hmm. that you want to get out in the forefront, you want to let people know, let people know about it. I'm your girl. Just reach out. We'll make and it happen. Hey, once you fight, watch the show, let me know who you want to interview. I'll bring them on for you. Okay, cool. Okay, you know what? I'll interview this person right here. You know? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day and be safe and stay sanitized. Yes. And thank you for having me. Thank you. No problem. Anytime. Be blessed. You be blessed as well.